In this video, I will be showing you how to create the bill of materials as well as the exploded view for your footstool project. To begin, we'll start with the bill of materials. On the right side of the screen, there's an icon that says bill of materials table. It looks like a list. Click on bill of materials table and you'll see that it comes up with the table that shows the quantity of parts, but doesn't give a name or a material. These are the standard columns that are imported into Onshape or your bill of materials. To edit these, right click on the name of the column and select remove column. Right click on description and remove column. We're getting rid of the default information here and then adding in the things that we need. We need our part names as well as the material used to create the part. You'll see that all of my part names are here. If your part names do not show up here, it means that they were not renamed in the tree on your original drawings. If that's the case, go back and revise them. You should also have a material in the material column. If you do not, go back to the specific part and reassign a material to the part. Once that's done, we're ready to create the exploded view. Select the exploded views tab on the right side of the screen. Then select add exploded view. You can see it now says we're editing our explode one and that's showing up right here as an exploded view. To edit the exploded view, part by part, go ahead and start pulling apart the footstool. We'll start with the top, click once, grab in the direction you'd like to pull it apart and select a value. For the first movement here, I'm going to take this out negative four inches. Then you can start pulling out the button plugs and the rails. You can see, you can select multiple parts at one time. I have both the button plugs here selected and I'm going to drag those out four inches. I'm then going to click the rail and drag that out a specific distance as well. We'll do negative two. I've now moved the button plugs four and the rail negative two. I'm going to rotate around to the back side of the product and do the same thing. Move the button plugs four inches and the rail two inches. Then I'm ready to pull the legs apart. I'll pull the button plugs first. being careful of the selection order, four inches, and then move the leg <clears throat> two inches. Again, you have to be careful of what you're selecting. You can see I over, over selected things there. So simply deselected them and I just wanna move the leg. Then we'll rotate around the other way and do the same thing to the other side. Four inches. And two. Now, you can see from an isometric view, I can see all my parts and pieces. If I wasn't happy with the way my exploded view turned out here, I can always pull things further apart if needed. If we need to pull things further apart than we did, we can simply go back and edit any of these steps. I'll show you what how to do that. Double click on a step and just simply change the value. If I want to bring the top up higher, I can move it negative six inches instead of negative four. If I wanted to move the rails and the button plugs out further, I would just simply find those within the within these steps here on the right side and make the edits as needed. I think this looks pretty good. 
It shows us how things go together or come apart. Again, if we wanted to change some of these, we just double click on them and change the distance. It might be easier to see what's going on if we pull these out even a little further than we did. I'm adding an inch to the distance we pulled these out to hopefully make this a little bit easier to see. Now see, as I've added some distance here, I'm able to see all of the parts from the view. I'm gonna do that for the rails as well. And the button plugs. I accidentally put a negative value in, so now I'm making it positive, so it's going out the correct distance. And then finally, we'll finish the, these other two. Negative three. And the button plugs in the back here were step four. We'll make that six inches. Part of being a good designer, an engineer, is having the ability to see things and understand how they should go together and what they should look like once they're taken apart. It's important to note that these views here are views that you're trying to give to other people so they can understand your assemblies and your designs. Taking the proper amount of time to go through your views and make them so somebody can understand them is essential to being a good engineer or a good designer. Somebody might spend 10, 15, 20, maybe even an hour or two pulling a product apart like this to get it just perfect. I think this view looks pretty good. It could use some more tweaking, but I think for our learning purposes, this shows how this pulls apart and goes together. We'll select the done icon. To make the explosion pop apart, we can simply double click on this. If we were sitting down with a team of people, they could certainly take a look at this and have an understanding of how this pulls apart and goes together. This concludes creating the bill of materials and creating an exploded view. If you have any questions on this process, make sure to ask. Again, this shouldn't be, uh, you know, there really is no right or wrong way of doing the exploded view. It's subjective to how you want the view to look, but you should pull the pieces far enough apart, again, where you can see all of the pieces and how they go back together. Great work with this, and I hope things are going well.